Yes, people, before we start, you know the drill, please hit that notification button and subscription button and like button. Thank you for tuning in, by the way, as well. So it's two goals to nil to Liverpool versus Villarreal. What a performance, what a display, what a atmosphere at Anfield as well. You can't really deny us, people. Whatever you want to put on us, you can't deny Liverpool Football Club to become great again. Because that's, the only, that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. We're on for four trophies, people. Four, not two, not one. Four. And um, not many teams did that. They're always making City favourites for everything. But look at them struggling against Real Madrid. There you go. Um, they spend billions. Struggling against Real Madrid. There you go. Aging Real Madrid, by the way, as well. Um, so let's let's discuss the Liverpool game. First half was KG. Um, obviously, Liverpool dominated it, but we wasn't scoring a goal. Uh, we had a few opportunities, but uh, sometimes that's what happens uh, when a team deep line defense and makes you attack the cop end. They're gonna be you know like tired during the game because Liverpool is gonna be attacking, attacking, attacking until they get their uh, their goal. But unfortunately, we didn't. So the second half started. Uh, Mr. Henderson was on the right wing. A lot of people, by the way discredit Henderson this season they said he's not performing well why is he in the team is his leadership on and off the pitch and what he does especially for the team is give that 100% Liverpool fans don't ask for much we only ask for 100% on the pitch and that's what he provides you know what I mean he might not be like a Zidane he might not be like Granadinho but he provides what we need on the pitch to make the team click you know what I mean you need hard workers you need technical players you need interceptors you know you need all that stuff in that middle in order for you to succeed in games that you you, you go for and he provides that and a whole lot more and now people are understanding uh, yes navigate has been outstanding this season yes he's, he he deserves a starting place but sometimes we've got to look at navigator is running back he hasn't got the pace to run back with players which henderson has he protects trent on the right side and um that's why there's less crosses get, coming into the box um what what do i say like you know like during the game we was we, we wasn't frustrated we was trying to get a goal but it just wasn't working out so we waited until the second half and um, straight away, I think a few minutes later, uh, Henderson put a cross in the box and it went straight through on goal. It was impressive by the way, the way we just come out the second half like it was the first but even with more energy, which is weird. I can't believe it. Like, how do we get, how do we start with the like, intensity, intensity we did and then come out in the second half, look more hungry which is weird and uh, yeah Henderson crossed it in to the to the far post uh, it deflected off one of the defenders and then the goalkeeper palmed it with his left hand towards his goal and that was the first goal um, you know Diaz was at the far post just in case the, drop, the ball dropped uh, to him could have tapped it in and made it 1-0 but still uh, own goal by the goalkeeper so it's 1-0 to Liverpool game one on we're still harassing them we're still going at them and then uh, sorry, uh, Mo Salah came out of nowhere, started running at the defence and put a f beautiful through ball for Sadio Mane and Sadio Mane tipped it in. So he tapped it in with his toe and the left hand side of the goalkeeper, that made it 2-0. Um, i got to give props to Mo Salah, I have got at him a lot but this season, yes, he scored a lot of goals and he dropped off, he dropped, uh, dropped off a bit with the goals but the best thing about him is he's creating goals as well. You know what I mean? He's a top assister in the Premier League. Uh, I don't know about the Champions League, but in the, in the Premier League, I know that. Um, and look at the way he, he provided the goal for um, the Everton game as well. You know what I mean? So, uh, uh, towards Robertson. It shows he, he he's more of a team player now. He's no more about himself. That's, that's what I want to see. That's what we're voting for. That uh, The goals came as a bonus if you look at Mo Salah's performances. You know what I mean? Uh, we didn't think he would score a lot of goals, but we thought he would create a lot of goals. But he's doing both at the same time. Yes, the goals have dropped off a bit, but I think it will come eventually once people, you know, like concentrate on other stuff. Um, listen, we are the best team in the world. No matter what people say, don't, don't ever, ever, ever listen to them because they know Liverpool Football Club is back on their perch. They just can't take it because you know we gave them nightmares down the years. Remember in the seventies and eighties, Liverpool. Wasn't only dominant in the actual league; they were dominant in the, in, in the European Cup as well. Like um, we got six, 
but you know you got to look how we won it. We was winning it while we won the league consistently, uh, which other teams in 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 in, uh, in England haven't done. Uh, and you know who I'm talking about. They talk a lot about their their football club, but they've never dominated Europe like Liverpool did. Uh, when you want when you want to become the elite of Europe, that's what you got to do. Um, yes, commercially, Man United are bigger than Liverpool because of what they've done outside the pitch. But if you talk about the real thing, which is the football, Liverpool blows them out, out of the water. The most important thing is the football. Forget commercial side, people. The most imp we're, we're going to catch them with that eventually. Anyway. But the most important thing is the football. Rem remember that. And people drill it into their brain. You know I mean, Liverpool Football Club is the best team in England, no matter what. You could have your commercial stuff, which doesn't even make sense because it's not even about, about football. You know what I mean? It's just like what you sell shirts in Japan and China. You know what I mean? That's what it is. But yeah, forget about Man United. So the, the game finished 2-0. Uh, second leg is going to be at Villarreal. Uh, they have to come out, people. They have to come out and, and give us a game because in this game yesterday, they didn't come out the goal. They, they didn't create chances. Um, they didn't even take a shot on goal. Uh, Alisson was actually cold in the whole game. You know what I mean? He was just passing the ball about at the back. I think he had more touches than their striker. So it goes to show... Um, if you keep everyone at arm's length, you don't you don't have to like go at them and you know make them uh, come at you with a get with a ball and create chances. Like we, if we want to be dominant, we'd be dominant. Alisson in goal, um, Van Dijk and and and, and Konate, Look at the pace those two have as well, uh, and the physical power those two centre backs have. Don't get me wrong, Matip has been fantastic this season. He has been one of the best defenders this season, and everybody underestimates Matip. But people forget when Matip is fit, he's one of the best as well. Um, but listen, at the end of the day, we've got the 2-0. Yes, I would have wanted 3-0 just to make sure like uh, we're through, you know, have one leg in the in, in, in the final. But listen, I'll take 2-0. As long as we scored a couple of goals and um, make them work, that's the most important thing in my opinion. Um, and bring on the second leg, I'll say. So our next game will be in Newcastle away at 12.30 on Saturday. Let's do this, Reds. Let's do this. It's going to be difficult, but... If you want to win the league, you got to win these games, you know what I mean? And uh, put your foot in it and tell them, like, we're here to compete and we're not here to go away. Make it four trophies, not three, not two. So make, let's make it four people, uh, quadruple. Uh, please, people, like I always say, I hope you enjoyed this. Like, share, subscribe. And, um, you know, I'm back. Well, not to the extent like before, but I'm going to try my best to come back on a regular basis. And with your help, I could do that. So please, yeah, share the channel around and uh, and like and share and subscribe because that helps us the, around YouTube. People can see the channel and, you know, tune in and see what we're doing. Um, much appreciated, everyone. And let's go to Newcastle. Let's see what's going to happen on Saturday. Yes, people, before I go, let me give you play player ratings. Um... I'll start off with the goalkeeper. Didn't do much. We'll give him a seven. Uh, uh, both full backs, Robertson and Trent, we'll give them an eight. Didn't have to do much. They didn't really create a goal or anything like that, but at least they defended and plus we didn't concede the goal. That's the most important thing. Then you've got Van Dijk and uh, Konate. Both are nine. Outstanding. Never let anyone pass them. If it's physical, they challenged it. If it's, if it's pace, they challenged it. If it's interception, they, they challenged it. Uh, the only thing, if they score a goal, that would have been a 10, but they didn't. But listen, as long as you keep a clean sheet, you're always going to be in a high, high rating. So I'll give them both a 9. And then you've got Henderson, a 9 as well, for his contrib contribution on the goal. And his leadership throughout the game. And he's like, you know, with Henderson, it's the energy, isn't it? It's the energy and, and, and making sure everyone's behind him when, he, when he's um, um, trying to win the ball back, trying to attack. So that's, 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 that's what I like about Henderson. Not many people uh, uh, fancy Henderson as a player, but he's not Zidane. He's not, he's not, he's not, ne he's not Neymar. He's not Ronaldinho. He's, he's Henderson. That's what he does. You need those kind of players in the team, no matter what. Even, even Brazil used to have the Udunga and all them lot, and Mauro Silva. You know what I mean? That's who they, who they, who they used to have in midfield. But they, they won championships, didn't they? So yeah, I'll give him a 9. Thiago, 10. Best player on the pitch by far. I don't have to say a lot about Thiago. Everybody knows about it. Like, I mean, a, a lot of people are asking questions. Why does he play for Liverpool Football Club? They don't have that kind of players in the field. They, they are hard working. They they, 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 they they retrieve the ball and they pass it into the attacks. But sometimes when that runs out, you need to go a different direction, which we have with Thiago. And uh, he performs like this. 
I mean, not many people were thinking he could perform like this because the Premier League is too fast and, and he hasn't got much pace. But it's not all about pace sometimes, people. It's the control of the game, and which he gives us to, and, and he's outstanding with it as well. So 10 out of 10 for Mr. Thiago. And then you've got um, Salah, 9 out of 10. I know he hasn't scored people, but it's his contribution in the team is most important, which we brought him for in the beginning. And look at him. So we'll give him 9 out of 10 for creating that goal and playing and just being a pest in the game. Just run that the whole game. And you've got Diaz. I give him 8 out of 10. Could score, could do more, but he could improve eventually and score more goals uh, in, in the future as well. He needs a preseason to understand how we play, but he's still doing a great job. So I give him an 8 out of 10. And then you've got Mane, 9 out of 10 with his goal. And with his performance, he just missed a little bit. If he stayed on longer, maybe he would have done more, more if you know what I mean. And then you've got um, Jota that came on, 7 out of 10, didn't do much. Origi, 7 out of 10, didn't do much. And then you've got Gomez, yes, he kept a clean sheet and made sure nobody ran up and down that wing, but I gave him 7 out of 10 as well. So we'll start with Alisson, 7 out of 10. Uh, both full backs will give them 8 out of 10. And both centre backs, 9 out, 9 out of 10. And uh, you've got this defensive midfielder, uh, Fabinho. 9 out of 10 and then you got um, Henderson 9 out of 10 10 out of 10 for Thiago uh, 8 out of 10 for um, Diaz 9 out of 10 for Mane and 9 out of 10 for Salah and uh, obviously the, the substitutes all get 7s which is Jota, Origi and uh, Gomez they all get 7 for me other than that if you disagree please put it in the comments below and let me know what you think about your player ratings and I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you I'll see you soon See you everybody.